I hope you're doing well. I've had a neck injury for the last few weeks and it has prevented me from doing much computer work. So now that I'm feeling better, I'm catching up on my videos that I have recorded. And this one will have some artwork, um, a mail haul, and of course poncho. Good morning. It is about 3 a.m. here. So I just went ahead and got up and made myself some coffee. Needs warmed up. <laughs> um, thought I'd try and get a little bit of something done. important that we show our failures as well as our successes and this particular painting I was not happy with. I wound up painting over it with gesso so I could reuse the canvas and the paint was on there pretty thick. I had I was going after a textured loose look to it and it just I, it was not successful. I had a few things that I had done in my sketchbook that I, I did like. Um, this is a acrylic on canvas, and I didn't like the texture that it came out with. I wanted it much looser, and I've been having much better luck in my sketchbook paintings. So I went ahead and I did this on a page that was uh, gessoed ahead of time. And if you kind of look at the two pieces next to each other, you can really see the texture difference on the piece and I like it a, a lot better. Some of the proportions are not exact and that's that's fine with me. The painting on the canvas was created by looking at a life-size model and then I did the one in the sketchbook from the painting and it helped it be a little looser. And I, I, I just I really like it. I, I keep a piece of wax paper or parchment paper on top of each page or between the double pages because if you're working with acrylic and you've got acrylic on both sides it's going to stick together. This on the right is a study that I did from a Sandy Hester painting. The image that I used as a reference was from one of her earlier pieces and I believe this may be a detail but I was doing some studies of different artists and I really liked her work. I've been watching her YouTube channel and she's very prolific and great at helping to loosen up. And then this is also one of Sandy Hester's I did a study of. I like her current work, of course, also, but I'm really aiming toward the looseness that I see in those early ones. And then this is some drawings that I did. This one, um, I call it Wild Woman. It's a high school friend uh, that I did from a reference photo. I did it as a live demo on my YouTube channel. And again, I keep a piece of wax paper or whatever in between, not because it's acrylic, but because it, it, obviously it's graphite and it's gonna be smearing and charcoal. And on the left are just some exercises that I like to do when I'm getting warmed up if I need something. Um, and then this is a study that I did of a John Singer Sargent drawing that again was done as a demo during a live. And I really like how it turned out. It's, um, it's got some really neat areas. Come here. Hello. Let's go. Come on, let's go. I just could not wait to show you all. I got, I ordered this book, obviously from Thrift Books, but it was uh, $12 and something. Okay, I'm gonna try and do this with one hand. It's this one. And like I said, it was $12. There's a little bit of, you know, just like shelfware on it, but 
Then I look in, and it's signed. I was gonna be happy if it had, and it does come with the DVD too. I've looked at this book before and it's wonderful. And I saw the chance to get a copy and I can't believe this was only $12. I am just in love with this. So I'll set that to the side. But I got a jacket out the other day and this was in the pocket. I don't know where I got this from, but I just think that's just, that's just beautiful. It's like tulips and an orangey color. I mean, I just think that's beautiful. Anyway, another thing I did was I ordered some reproductions and I got those in the mail. I do wish I had gotten, gotten it with a border. I just got a few copies. I mean, literally there's like I think three copies of each one just to kind of try it out and then I also got this one reproduced and again I wish I had gotten the border and this these are from MPix. I happened to catch it where it was 50% uh, off on reproductions so yay and then I've also been getting sticker samples in the mail. That's what this whole stack is. I want to possibly have some stickers on the website or even just as a, you know, giveaway. So anyway, I thought I would share that with you all because this, this really excites me. This is, oh, I love this book. And I love this author. Just about anything that she does. Yes. Very cool. I also want to show you some happy mail that I got. Stickers. Lots and lots of stickers. I mean. How cute are these. That is just, oh. So thank you. So thank you very much to Laura who sent these to me. Oh, that is too cute. So these are awesome. Thank you very much. The last few days I've been working on some digital downloads for Etsy. These are some paintings that I've created in the past. And I made them into digital downloads. You can do 20 different standard sizes from each purchase. I'll put the link down below in case anyone is interested. Thank you for watching. That's it for this vlog. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.